Everybody, welcome back, Falcon, RimWorld. You guys know the routine, let's get the game going on over here. So, last episode we dealt with the tail end of a siege, it went really well. Our defenses were actually, you know, met beyond our expectations, as a matter of fact. Um, it felt a little bit cheesy, I, I will admit that, but, you know, we can't really, you know, leave shit up to chance at this point, because at some point we're gonna start getting such overwhelming amount of numbers to the raids and then mech assaults and everything, so we do need kind of a little bit of a cheesy system in order to combat. The fucking cheesing is an overpowered uh, way that the storyteller kind of comes at you sometimes. So, um, the other thing we also did is actually had these meals hauled off. The survival meals, meaning if that is back over here in base, which it probably should be. Right? Who is hauling the first pack? Where the fuck is that meal at? Alright, there it is. Good. So, what I'm gonna do is um, forbid that. Don't eat off of that food whatsoever. We're still waiting for two more deliveries of that, remember. There were three packets right now. I'm having the third one getting picked up right now, so I'm not sure when that's going to make it over here, but I'm being vigi vigilant about it because otherwise, um, you know, we won't be able to keep an eye on it, and then I'll forget, and, you know, Falcons are really prone to forgetting shit anyway, so Colin just needs treatment, Greywood. Um, why? Oh, because you're hunting Iwanas without any sort of weapon. Well, that would probably do it, my friend. Uh, that's my bad. I guess I forgot to... Set up your things, huh? Yep, that is my fault. So, Shadow the Assassin, let me put you as a one and as a one. Patient one, patient one. Alrighty, Warden work, we'll turn this off. Greywood, you're gonna be a hunter for us, for sure. Researching, you're great at it, but you know, we're done with that at this point. We'll do some hauling for you, and we will also do some cleaning, and that's about it for now. I mean, if you wanna help us construct on occasion, that'd be fine, but that's about it. Okay. And then, um, we had Shadow the Assassin, right? You're gonna be, obviously, a hunter. Oh, for an assassin, he could actually work. I'm really quite- and he's not a bad worker. Construction 6 out of 20, okay. Well, that's really surprising. Usually, a shadow, um, assassins are dog shit terrible at everything. Um, so we'll give you some of that work, and we will give you some hauling as well. Some cleaning if you get the chance. We'll turn this off. And we'll turn crafting off of you. You don't have a weapon, do you? No. Alrighty, so a few of these people do need weapons. You know, there's a few weapons over here, but nothing that's gonna be too great for you. As an assassin, you probably need something better. You're not an amazing assassin, but you could work, and that's, uh, more than makes up for it. So how about we give you, my friend, a... I like the R4, uh, the R4 rifles a lot, so you take that one. Now, you over here dealing with this Wana by yourself. Uh, God Sticks is gonna hunt Scarabs, that's fine. So for now, let me see if you could grab this, uh, pistol before that I want- Oh, you actually killed him, so, hey, good on you. How is your fighting ability, by the way? You're not a bad fighter. You really aren't. You're amazing at medicine, holy shit. Are you set up as a doctor? Because, man, we should be. No, you're not. Doctoring one, you be our number one go-to man over here, my friend. Steven P., I think you've been relieved of doctoring duties, my friend. Turn this off, and then Goku, well, I guess we'll keep Goku there on it for now. Maybe like a two? Because growing is his main priority anyway. But yeah, Greywood's an amazing doctor, holy shit. Alrighty. Um, so, for now, for now, for now, what do I want you to do? Well, I want you to get a better weapon. What are you doing? You're gonna come sleep? Alright, that's good. Since you're heading back to base anyway, let me hook you up with... Mmm... I would like to keep you a little bit healthy, so I'm gonna give you an M24 for long range damage, because you're not a bad fighter. And since you are a good doctor, I could really afford you not getting hurt. There's another minigun over here that we got from the last, um, assassin that we killed over here. So we gotta keep that in mind, because that is a good weapon for us to actually have. Carry Morton, what do you have? You have an R4 charge rifle? You're seriously impaired. What's going on with, um, Carry Morton over here? Is it because it's, it's just an index finger? Oh, come on. That seems a little bit sketchy if you ask me, but okay. What is this? A group from the blacksmiths are visiting town? Yeah, they could go fuck themselves, that's what they can do. Alrighty, everything else is going good here? We're burning bodies, we're burning t-shirts, excellent! Um, This guy is being... Oh shit, I forgot to do... Oh, see? They were eating off of it. That's the reason why, you know, I just took my eyes away from... Look at you guys, you know what? No. I can still salvage this a little bit. No. Hey, you. Fucking, you drop that meal right now. What is- there's a weird noise going on over here. Is that my headphone? It could be my headphone. Hopefully that doesn't come out in the audio. <laughs> um, there was a little static going on. I think it was my headphone messing up on me right there. So, you drop that as well. You guys, do me a favor, move. Um, both of them should be- alrighty, and this as well. Nope, you can't eat off of that. Hey, you, Guinea, stop it. 
I'm literally taking the food off of these people's uh, mouths, but that's fine. You guys have other meals right here you could kind of go and eat, okay? You guys are free to run off. So here's what we need to do. We need to quickly make this hollable. Haul that off. And the moment is- No, no, no! Put the fucking meal down! Sweeney. I'm not fucking around right now. You put that meal down right now. This instance, young man. There you go. I dropped into that uh, stack. Perfect. Perfect. Is there another meal there? No. It's... Not sure what's happening here. Okay. I gotta do this really carefully. So. Um. These meals over here. You know what? I'm not sure how to do this. So. <clears throat> I'm just gonna... If they eat them, they eat them. It's just more of a pain in the ass to have to deal with this manually this way. So. That could be hauled off. Alright, they did set it down. Which is fine. Oh, they actually set it down into the stack that was already forbidden. Excellent, that works out for me. Okay, right, that's a really good little um thing to deal with right there. So, you know, if you guys didn't know about that, then there you go. Oh, bo 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 bo. A group of pirates from the Wild Vultures of oh, Vultures have arrived in the drop pads nearby. They will prepare for a wild and attack. Okay, so we can start fucking them up right now, which is probably what we will be doing. Who is this guy? Oh my lord. <laughs> you picked the wrong time to come and visit now, huh? Considering I don't even like you guys. Alright, is any of my people outside is the real question. Paul is. Paul could be running into a bit of a problem here. Alrighty, Paul. We have to do this really carefully. You are going to be recruited, and you need to run down towards this way. Try to avoid the eyes of the uh, raiders over here. And then... Man. Hunting Mega Scarab? No, that's not going to work out. Johnny West, I'm going to recruit you, and I'm going to have you take care of one of these uh, mortars right now. And then Gary Morton, you will be doing the same. You're delivering food right now to Frazier? You know, Frazier could wait, you know? It was a good show. Kelsey Grammer's a good guy, but, you know, he's going to have to wait up for a second here. Little Vespers, let me get you over here. Okay. So let's keep an eye on Paul. Oh, oh, Andy Ortiz, I didn't see you there either. Andy Ortiz, let me recruit you and have you take over this EMP mortar over here. Now, we just don't want to draw the ire of the Raiders before we're ready. Spiffy Phil, right now is not the time for this. Since you have um, time to do something for us, I'm going to just have you recruited. And you can come over and take over this mortar. Alrighty. Here comes a lot more of my people. Probably to haul and shit. This is so, such a problem. I don't want to turn hauling off right now, too. Because, you know, then I have to activate it one at a time. So, finally, you come and take over this one, Shadow. You come and take over this one. We need three more people. Whoever's left over, I will just uh, militarize and have them get ready for the impending tail end of the assault. Pyrrhus, you're hauling as well. That's not going to work out, my friend. You could come and hang out right about here. And Raccoon, you could do the same thing with this one. Okay. And then you guys over here. Oh, you just hauled this. Yeah, I mean, haul from over here. That's fine. Why are we shooting mortars all the way down here? You guys are supposed to be, you know, aiming over on that side, you know, where the enemies are at? There you go. That's the stuff. Preferably if you could land a few of those uh, mortars, that would be actually helpful. Paul, what are you doing? You're standing? Don't just stand there, my friend. Come over here. Come inside. Uh-oh. Hey, you. You guys are foolish right now. Come over and just hang out. I don't know, like, somewhere here for now? Greywood, I know you want to help, but you have to hang out over here, too. Die still, this is not the time. You just hang out right there. Swear to God, if you guys start fucking going back outside. Oof, what just happened there? Frames drop like crazy. Oh, it's because they are giving up. They're sieging and they're gonna do their assault now. Which is fine because, you know what, I already recruited a lot of people to stop doing what they're doing to come and help us out. So you guys can come over here. I will set you up properly really soon. You guys could um all... Well, Jersey Paragon, let me recruit you. Danny, what do you have? Recruit you, and let's, um, and Batman, recruit you. And we're gonna be doing all of you guys right now. Coming down and meeting up roughly here. I'll set you up and move you around really soon. Let's turn on the turrets. Alright. Now, this is gonna be, this is gonna tell, oh. Oh, my lord, frames. The frames are real, man. This will tell whether our defense is actually good or if it's dog shit terrible. I am leading over dog shit terrible, but hopefully it's not so bad. <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. So let's put this in real time. God six, minigun man, you are first in line over here, right? So you could post up roughly here, I would say. 
All right, Green Eagle, what do you have? You, an R you have an R4? You post up next to your buddy over here. Uh, remember, if you have a long-range weapon, you take the edges. That would be your priority. Where is Batman? Batman should be coming down really soon, right? Or unless he's already here. Batman, do I see you? Yeah, Batman's right about here. So, Batman, you... No, don't arrest anybody. Just, um, fine. Come over here. Remember, um, long-distance people, we move to the edges. That is always the priority. Daisto, you hang out there. Alrighty, you're good there. You're good there. Ninja Bun... Maybe move you here. Jersey Paragon Shotgun Man. I want to figure out a way to kind of get my shotgun people closer to the action, but without, you know, risking their lives. Otherwise, we might have to remove him from shotgun duties to give him a longer range weapon. Otherwise, going to be in a disadvantage here. You move over to this side. Chris Ninja with your Uzi, you hang out over here. Greywood, you have a sniper rifle, you hang out over here. Shadow Play, you will be moving over on this side. Raccoon, you take that spot. And the Ortiz, you might want to get behind cover, my friend. Let's be smart about this, my fine young gentleman friend. And what do we have here? Shadow. You're moving over there. Okay. Carrie Morton, you just have a handgun. You're a good fighter, though. So I'm not sure why you just have a handgun. Let me, you know, switch that up here really quickly if we have the time. Uh, R4 would be pretty good on you. So go grab that. Appearing as you just have a pistol. Because that's because you're not a good fighter. And that worries me, but... At the moment, we do need hands on deck anyway. These guys are in through our first line of defense, so our turrets will kind of help us out a little bit here, but not too much. Now, who else? Data Air, you have a minigun. You're slow as hell, though, so you need to make it here post-haste, my friend. Alrighty. So turrets are going to do a little bit of a work for us. And we can set these um, blast charges off whenever we want. Now... When is the right spot for it? Well, I would say right here looks pretty good. A lot of these guys are just kind of hanging back, aren't they? So let's set this one off now. Okay, that's a lot of them down already. I will accept that. We could actually set this one off too, but let's hold off. Is this a good idea that I'm doing? Probably not, but they're going to be shooting each other as well. They're going to uh, catch a lot of friendly fire amongst themselves, I would imagine. I mean, it happens when I do it, so why shouldn't it happen to them too? Alright, so now they're done with the turrets, and that was to be expected. Anybody that thinks about coming out here right now, you need to relax, okay? I can't set this one off now, should I, is the real question. Uh, I feel kind of scummy doing it, but, you know, this is all a matter of, you know, surviving this, too, so... Oh, that's so many of them. No, you know what? Let's let it happen. This is the right... Oh, God, there's so many of them. That's the fucking problem. Oh, they decided to withdraw. That's good. Okay, here we go. We could possibly lose a lot of people here, or lose some people, because I refuse to, uh-oh. Because I refuse to, you know, use that, um, blasting charge. I'm regretting it severely right now, that much I will tell you. But they're fleeing! So, you know what, it held up to a degree, and I'm happy with that. Now, if we could get a possible few knockouts here, I would be really happy. Oh, we see a few knockouts indeed. Oh, that was sweet. You know what? I'm not too crazy about it. I don't think it's, um, fair, quote-unquote. But I could have, you know, made sure that they didn't even make it past this, you know, area over here. And I let that happen. I gave them a sporting chance, and, you know, I feel happy with my decision. Because it proved that our defenses aren't amazing, but they're gonna hold up to a little bit of a degree. So you guys are free to run off now, get some food, whatever you have to do. Oh, that was so sweet, man. We got a few medkits for our problems, too. And there's a few people we could really capture. Oh, another assassin would be really great, especially if it's one that actually works. No, but this one's actually a really great fighter. Let me pause this really quickly. Let me take a look over here. Gunshots, we could probably heal, so that's not a big problem. Shredded gunshot, perfect. You're a controller, you're a good fighter as well. I love it, man. I love it when we get some good fighters in here, man. And we have Illuminator. Ugh, Voss? I'm gonna presume that H is silent because I can't pronounce it otherwise. So I'm gonna say your name is Voss, alright? Deal with it. You're a terrible fighter? Not a bad worker, though. Yeah, that's good. We could definitely use miners and things of that nature. We only lost three turrets, so I'm actually happy about that. Mine, isn't it cost 250 each time we rebuild them? Is it 250 or is it 80? I forget. 160. You know what? That's not too bad. I could definitely afford the 160 on occasion if it means, um, you know, taking care of raids quite easily. So, um, before you guys run off over here, little Vespers do me a solid here. You come and capture Catherine the Assassin. Data error, which you're slow ass. You come and capture Lace that the controller, and then 
Batman, before you run off into whatever crime fighting you're going to be doing, come and capture this guy. Alrighty, now bodies need to be hauled off and stripped down, all the good stuff. I really wish there was like a, a way that you could just kind of um, order them to like strip bodies down like as a big project instead of just like you no know, single digits one at a time. Maybe a mod or some kind, or maybe something that gets added in the future. I'd imagine it'd be something that developer would probably benefit from adding just because, you know, stripping bodies down one at a time seems like a hassle. Unless there already is a way that to do that, I just haven't really figured it out because I'm an idiot, which is, you know, completely possible actually, but let's just pretend like it's not the case right now. Uzi picked up. M16 picked up. Alrighty, that's everything over here being hauled off. Good shit, man. Really good shit. Now, um, the people that we are capturing, we're having a chat with Fraser over here. We're gonna probably have to turn a few of these lights on. And we have three people coming in that are going to be injured, right? So let's set up another medical bed right here. Alrighty. Little Vespers, thank you for your help. We will turn this light on now. And... Isn't Havas the one we just caught? If so, why isn't he a medical bed? He should be. There's well, a free one right here and a free one up here. We'll see how this kind of works out. <clears throat> Alright, so you're moving him down here. This right here should be a bed for Havas. If I was to say. No, don't strip him down. He's still alive. <laughs> That's a terrible thing to do. Alright, let's just take a look at it over here. Data error is so goddamn slow. I love the guy, but he's so fucking slow, man. Alrighty, so let's set you guys up here for... Try to recruit. Get medicine. Friendly Chad. Same deal with you. And... Same deal with this young individual here. That is all three of them, right? Yes, and we will turn your light on. And I guess we'll turn your bed into a medical bed for now because there's just no other way to go about that. Alrighty, perfect. I like it. I dig it. Get these bodies out of the way and we have to, obviously, really quickly rebuild our defenses for the next raid that could come down on us anyway. So you do one, two, turret. Turret here, and turret there. And I really like this door. It kind of gave us a... I thought it was going to be like a problem, like in terms of... um making us vulnerable for an assault, but it turned out to be relatively fine. So we'll turn this bad boy here, that right there. And then we have mental breaks really soon. I'll take a look at that right now. Give me a second here. Sandbag and sandbag. Alrighty. And we need a door up here, obviously. We have wood now, don't we? So let's actually do a wooden colonist door here. Kind of preserve a little bit of our painstaking um, wood or metal at the very least because we're going to be using metal to kind of rebuild our defenses so I guess starting to gather up wood's going to be kind of a priority. Let's get this minigun picked up. Alrighty. And you guys are going to continue hauling from over here which is fine but remember get these bodies out of the way because you know we need to avoid mental breaks. Sweeney what's your problem? Oh you're... Why are you um, recruited here? Were you been recruited there since like a while back? Oh dude he could be. My bad Sweeney. Holy shit. How did I forget about you? Alright, we have these things over here built. Let's take a look at them right now. Let's make sure that everything's fine here, though. Everything's running smoothly. One of the moon's orbits, right? So we have a uh, Eclipse, Need Grave, and Mental Breaks are under control again. Sweet, dude. We're doing some awesome work over here. And, oh. There's a few of these dudes. There's a dude over here knocked out still. Luddite, huh? He's in shock. Can I rescue you? And is it really worth it? Not really. I'm sorry, my friend. You had a nice life. Probably. I, maybe, probably not. Maybe you were a scumbag. You were a raider after all attacking us. So, you know, for all you know, you got your justice search right now from us, so. You hang out there and you think about all the shit that you did in life, and this is the reason why you're kind of, um, you know, waiting for death's embrace, I guess. It's really morbid, but hey, it is what it is. Godsticks, you, um, you want to shoot that iguana with only one shot, maybe? It seems like you're wasting a lot of, um, ammunition. I'm just throwing it out there, Godsticks. <laughs> it seems, uh, really... Unfortunate. Alright, there's still a lot to actually pick up over here. We need to set up more haulers. Oh, shit. Um, we're gonna forget that I forgot about Carrie as well. <laughs> it's fine, Gary. You're fine. At least you weren't heavy mental breaks, okay? Everything's fine. Everything is good. Now, let's come over here. And, man, there's a lot of food that needs to be hauled off and picked up. Come on, guys. Let's not, let's not leave just stuff hanging around over here. Schematics workbench. Let's find out what this is all about. Add a bill. Craft schematics kit, schematics scyther frame, hive armor, hive health. Ooh, holy shit! Okay, um, sure. Uh, 
Crap schematic kit. I'm not sure what this does, like, at all. Does one unlock the other is the real question. Like, what does the frame need? The frame needs the schematic kit. Okay. So we do need to make this before we can open that up. Okay, well. We could do this. Uh, so what does the schematic kit need? Metal. How much metal? Doesn't tell me how much. Hmm. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, we have a lot of metal anyway. So yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that. Um, we want to make it for everybody, right? Well, I'm not sure what armor is better than the other ones is a real question right now. Um, side the frame, we have Hive Armor. Hive Armor is also going to probably need the schematic kit, yes. So everything's going to be based on the schematic kit. Hive Helmet, alrighty, good. So, for now, let me turn this off. I just wanted to get an idea of what I'm dealing with here. The Taylor Worksmith is going to be what? Scrap Apparel? Scrap Apparel? What do you mean, Scrap Apparel? <gasps> oh, turns this stuff into excess, um, textile scraps, huh? So instead of burning them, I could just break them down, and then I could craft Hyperweave Clod? Which requires textile. Okay, Hyperweave Clod. I'm not sure what that's going to open up. Let's find out what this is all about here. So, you know about that. Let's take a look at Armor Workbench. Craft Raider Jacket, Metal Jacket, Tribal Mask. Oh, we can get the Tribal Mask? Really? It requires wood, though. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not too crazy about that. And what about the armor assembly? Assemble hive armor. Okay, so here you make the schematics for everything, and then you have to come over here to actually build it. Who's starving? Carrie Morton. Wake up and go eat if you're starving, man. Um, armor assembly. Okay, I get you. I get you. Assemble hive armor. Oh, and here is the kicker. So... Assemble Hive Armor is going to require, what, metal? Okay. Hex cell? What the fuck is a hex cell? And schematics, okay. I'm not sure what a hex cell is, though. How do I get hex cells? You tell me how to make hex cells right now, game. Assemble Hive Helmet, Craft Jumpsuit, Craft Alloy Vest, Assemble Powered Light Armor, Disassemble Power Armor. So what if I disassembled Power Armor? What do I get? For power source, okay, okay. Um, interesting. Could that probably give me the quote-unquote hex cell? It could. Jesus, it's kind of like, you know, a Rubik's Cube of shit over here. Alrighty, so we only have one disassembly, which is the power armor. So we're gonna actually disassemble a power armor just to test this theory out. Do we have one over here? Yes, we have a few as a matter of fact. Okay, so here's what you're gonna be doing, table. Armor assembly. So you're gonna disassemble the power armor once, okay? And grab any nearby, whatever you need to grab for that. Um, this has bills. Nope. 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 Excellent. Only for this one. And we're gonna do that only one time, because I don't wanna obviously rock the boat too much here, but I would like to see what this is all about, because I'm really intrigued by it now. Alright, these people are gonna be continuing trying to get recruited. Now, what this means is that I have to be more vigilant when it comes to burning bodies. I make sure we strip them down, because if we're gonna be building our own armor, we're gonna obviously probably need a lot of this extra stuff, like like the power armor specifically. So you do that, strip this down, strip this down. Did somebody just grab the power armor? Um, let's see here. It feels like we're missing a power armor, right? No, no, all three of them are there. Hmm. Who's a crafter? And if so, who could actually craft that for us right now? Batman could actually craft stuff. Where's Batman at? Hey, Batman. Is there any way I could kind of force you to do this right now? Mmm. No. Okay, well. Oh, here we go. Ninja Bun has one. All right, here we go. We're about to check what this does. I'm really excited. Go forward. This is like a learning experience for me. I'm actually using my mods for once, guys. Surprise. Alrighty, so what's that going to break down into? What do we have here? Shrike. All right, Shrike, give me a second. I'm busy right now. Oh, <gasps> Hexel. Oh shit, man. Alrighty, and that is required to make the hive armor. So we'll be going to armor assembly. Okay. I like it. Here's what we do. We obviously burn down or disassemble the last three that we do have, or the last two, I should say. Alrighty. And then, once we have that, we can assemble this stuff. But in order to assemble that stuff, we need the schematics. Oh my lord, it's so much! I kind of like it, though. To the next episode, we can actually continue doing this, hopefully, and, um... Get some of this stuff built. I'm kind of excited. I'll catch you guys next time.